Whoopee, Bitcoin's down 20% from its highs. And um, I just got wiped out on my trades. I thought BlackRock's going to come save the day. I thought BlackRock was going to take us to the moon. What on earth is going on? What is happening? Man, what did I tell you guys? Back in December here, I made a video on the channel. I said, uh, this is looking a little uh, woozy. I feel like buying is getting exhausted. We're seeing altcoins go up 100x. Um, there's altcoins that I called that went up 12x. Um, you know, look look at the gains on Bonk. Like, look at, look at, just take in how much we pumped in 2023, guys. Like, it was such, I don't want the log. It was a crazy, crazy run. Look at this. It's just basically vertical. Um, you know, countless stuff just went vertical. Celestia, straight up. Look at that chart. AVAX, even old coins. Still saw some some considerable pumps. Look at new coins. Look at Beam, right? Just countless pumps. So yeah, the whole market finally flipped for the most part. And now it's time for the burning. <laughs> now it's time for Bitcoin to probably go down. Um, and we're going to look at the Bitcoin chart here in just a second. But I want to take a moment to kind of like take you guys, um, give you some perspective when it was the time to be bullish, right? Uh, Ivan on tech, January 27th, he came out, made a video, literally the start of the year last year. And he said this. Welcome back, guys. What if I told you that Bitcoin will go to 50K already this year in 2023? Hmm. So I, were you guys watching him? They didn't see these didn't get that many views back then compared to videos getting 200,000 views. Now, were you guys were you guys here watching that? What about when I made a video on the 23rd, a few days before Ivan and I said this, whatever other guys that you follow. Now it's like so many people have flipped and they're very, very bearish. Um, so many people are super bearish on the stock market, like giga bearish on the stock market. It just makes me think like as a contrarian, the herd usually gets it wrong. What if they're wrong here? January 23rd, 2023, right? This was November 28th, 2022. I made this video, 2022. There's never, there's never someone saying, Hey, this is the, this is exactly where you buy. This is the perfect bottom. And it all scoops up. Like it rarely works like that. November is usually right extremely fearful boring like just smack your head against a wall type right of emotions here. and everybody's running from the hills and no one wants to touch this shit right demand destruction so <laughs> like who are you guys watching right like are you just watching loud maths shout out to elio but elio was two months late to the party when he finally flipped bullish but shout out to elio and and look at the views on this back then fifty thousand views look at his views now right Socials are pumping 182k, 200,000 views, 162,000 views, 136,000 views. This is this is why I kind of was telling you guys. Look, even when I was saying, look, I'm trading altcoins, and this was a few days before I said, hey, the market's heating up. Like maybe you should just wait. Um, look what I said here. Until it gets to a point where it is in a full-on bull run do not buy this and especially don't buy right now that prices have gone up almost a thousand percent because if there's some sort of pullback right bitcoin somehow dips down to low 30s or a worst case bear uh like final scare type situation where we revisit 20ks on bitcoin a 40 percent correction eth corrects heavy this thing's gonna dump 70 percent you're gonna be left there in the wind you're gonna have bought when it was high and sold when it was low uh when you should have just waited so personally, I'm waiting. Should have just waited. Personally, I'm waiting. And what coin was I talking about? It wasn't just talking about BTC, which look, but from its highs, it's down. Uh, well, that's from all time highs. So that's not a good description. But I'm, I was talking about Neo Tokyo. When I made that video, it was like $17 and it went up to 22 bucks. Like I literally made the video right at the tippy top. And I told everyone, I'm like, do not buy this. Like that's what I said very openly and then check the comments. I said, I think it's too expensive. I don't think this is going to go to the moon just yet. I think it's like an appetizer and it's down 62%. I've say I saved you 62% of your money from, from losing 62% <laughs> of your portfolio. If you bought at the top, I've already got my entries. I'm still waiting. I still think like if you've never touched this before, if if I had no exposure to Neo Tokyo, you know, well, now congrats. Now you have a 
uh, discount. And I think this discount window might go lower if the market continues to bleed, but it's entered discount zone. Like it's entered good, good zones to finally where I'm like thinking, yeah, maybe I'm gonna start nibbling, start getting some accumulation. But um, guys, I, I was bullish throughout 2023. I, I played the markets. I made um, I made some great money and I was listening to the right people. You know, I was following, um, I was following the right blokes. I also understand the, I have the intuition because I've been through multiple cycles of feeling like, damn, I think things are getting toppy. And I kind of wanted to come on here now to one, make sure you're following better people. Shout out to Eric Crown. Um, Bitcoin, the macro low is in for the price. He made this one year ago when he was, th this helped me Eric flip Crown. bullish when Bitcoin was Crypto trading at $22,000. Um, January 22nd, 2023, right? So you need to make sure you're following the right people. Shout out to BC Backer as well. Also great YouTuber, really good TA. So anyways, now I want to talk about like, where is the market going? Um, I think we're in for a pretty interesting year. I think this is going to be a very tricky year for a lot of people. Look, we're also bleeding again. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, because if we look at Bitcoin and its previous um, having years, look at this year what this was like. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Look at this. So we kind of had a similar run where we went from like a 19k $20,000 Bitcoin here, it was like three grand and it went up 4x. We basically did the same thing again, uh, in the pre having year here in, throughout 2023. And then it, it literally the price stayed the same. There were many months where price just was the same or it just dumped. Right. So it would either dump or it would like it would dump and go back to its previous price. We had the Rona dip here. If Rona wasn't here, this would have just been a sideways, boring ass year. And this is where actually this is the worst thing that could happen because bulls get pissed off and bears get pissed off. So you actually get the most painful capitulation, even though price is stable. Um, it, it freaks a lot of people out just because they're, they're impatient. So it's like, it's like the time uh, capitulation is what this year I believe will be like, maybe it'll be more interesting because obviously guys, we don't know what's going to happen ultimately, but there are clues that are left in the market that we have to use as detectives to try and figure out what's on the other side of the chart. Right. And so I think in the short term, this thing will bounce all over the place. Say this thing could go back to 45. Maybe it'll go touch 50. Um, we don't know. Short term's hard. But I think throughout the next six months, we are going to get really good, uh, really good prices to buy um, cryptos. I think like cryptos are going to throughout the next three to six months, I'm preparing to get my final buys before we get to the middle of like the year and the end of the year. Because I think after that, your window to buy is gone it's done so like the market is basically giving and this is the beauty of the market is it always gives you another chance um it always blesses you with fucking red in the market to to get another chance of the, uh, of the things you have conviction in so this is this is opportunity guys don't be dumb money don't be fucking dumb money red is opportunity green is bad green is means sell red means opportunity right green green is there to make you dollars red is there to give you opportunity for things that you believe in um, so use this opportunity. Some of these coins, like I said, depending on the risk curve are sit down 60%. Some are, are less. And personally, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to be getting exposure to things that's been on my mind, uh, for a while. Like stuff like OXO is finally down a lot. It's down 46%. Um, that's really good. It, like I've, I've been watching this since it entered these highs and I was like, I feel like it's too expensive, even though I really want to buy. And I know it's expensive because I really want to buy. And so I waited and finally it's coming into a good buy zone. Um, I think that like you should be using these, these next three to six months. Oh, also I got to make a YouTuber tier list. Follow DCC. Okay. Dollar. Oh no. <laughs> Dollar. Not <laughs> the cheerleaders. Dollar. <laughs> Wait, what the like this is some okay none of that none of that dollar cost crypto dcc okay follow cc conquer crypto and follow dcc this guy is so based he plays the markets incredibly well he's very accurate go and listen to this guy um listen to his pods and and hear his takes about what he thinks is going on i don't buy everything he shills like i'm not that big into the pecs and pulse even though i probably should be but I like to listen to him to get an idea of where he thinks the markets are going. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, we're getting our second buy opportunity. I think that's really what 2024 will feel like. the The first six months will probably be a good, another good buy opportunity, and then then we get the real move. Sometime maybe 2025 um, will be the real move. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Um, it's money making season and it's investing season. Uh, it's not time to be looking to ape in heavy right now but it's time to get prepared because like i said some of these alts are opening up discounts and you can never time it i'm not going to tell you where the bottom is i don't know i don't know if it's right now or if it'll go lower but the point is is we're getting in the bottom region like we've just entered the process of like a potential um good buy zone right just how like these were previously good buy zones or whatever crypto you look at right on like bitcoin um you have to, you know, take your own risk because ultimately uh, that's on you. And I'm just sharing what I'm doing. Um, but we've had a crazy look at the last leg here was really aggressive. So as hard as it runs, it can also dump and um, it could wiggle lower. It definitely could. It will bounce a lot. It could go back to 40, 45. Hell, it could break new highs and then tumble down to 30 again. Um, so be prepared for like choppiness and really i think the only people who are going to do well this year are those who uh, have already been have already won last year and understand the long-term mindset um a lot of you guys are going to get shaken out because you're too impatient you can't wait you 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 thought you, the etf would send us to the moon by now and you're following all the wrong people sorry ivan's the right people you know pointing at the brains follow the smart ones follow these real ones um who are giving you alpha and like Dude, some of these guys, if you go on Twitter, I hope you guys aren't following these clowns anymore. But look at Capo. This guy was so bearish throughout 2023. And then he's like posting TA about going to new highs. What are you on about, bro? These guys are out of it. They've lost their touch. They've lost their edge. Okay, so um, yeah, that's my two cents. That's my two cents. I just wanted to give you guys like an, uh, an important update um, overall. Obviously, like, Bitcoin is the music in the market. And as people who are like playing heavy in altcoins, these ultimately control the tune of whether we'll make money or not, generally speaking. Um, so it's important to notice, right? Short term, maybe we go crazy, but I think the medium term throughout this year is like our second accumulation. This is the second accumulation before the final um, stage of the bull run coming sometime in 2025 2026 or maybe earlier we'll see but uh we'll see how this video ages so far my previous calls have been pretty spot on um i'm not trying to like suck my own dick too hard but like man <laughs> not too shabby right and i the reason why it's important to mention this is a lot of people come to this these channels and they just see the, the a person at face value they don't know about their history they don't know about uh anything about like their batting average and not that like that's something really quantifiable but why would you like would you would you want to follow someone like bitboy or ben armstrong who's waiting on for a 55 dollar ripple or would you follow someone who just is wrong over and over and over and over and over and they're like not making you money even though they're like charismatic and popular or, oh i'm so popular it doesn't make you right and doesn't mean you're gonna help me make money so yeah we'll see how this ages um i think I think it's uh, long overdue after 12 months or actually 14 months of up. We've just been up, 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 up. If you look, look, look at this, guys. Like this has just been crazy of Pepe, hundreds of X's. Bonk, hundreds of X's. So much money was made throughout this cycle. Um, and this is like, this is the way you have to understand the market psychology, right? There's winners and losers here. People were brainwashed with this previously. This was the brainwashing of the market. People got used to negativity. People got so negative and then everything was poorly priced. Now the brainwashing has been up, 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 up. And now I think these this last leg here, this is where a lot of people, new people came in or old cycle people came back in and they're going to get wiped the fuck out. Um, they already are and it's going to be bloody AF. So yeah um get ready and then a lot of people here too are going to be shaken out because they're impatient because they're going to see like oh i'm not making that much money or like prices aren't not that far from where i bought i'm lazy and they're going to get they're going to capitulate too so 
that's what I think. I think this is a great, this is going to be kind of a seller's market, especially depending on what goes on. You have to watch what happens in the S&P at the end of the day. Um, this also is going to be an indicator, but there's times where, you know, the S&P broke new highs, but we continued going down. If you actually look at this, this is actually kind of interesting. Um, yeah, there's times where the S&P has broken highs, but crypto's bro broken down. So it's not a 100% indicator, but it is going to give us a general indication of what's the risk appetite out there in the market. Right now, it's breaking highs, right? That's breaking highs. NASDAQ 100 has broken highs and continues. Wow, just continues to keep going up. So we're seeing new all-time highs. But if this all of a sudden dips down and corrects, that's going to be a different story, right? So we'll see. Um, that's my two cents. I hope you guys enjoy this update. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh.